And Russ ain't had that bread, she ain't gonna be with him. <laughs> Russell Square. Yeah, Russell Square. Square. Russell Square. Sierra, Sierra had a she she has a good situation, but she was you don't a, leave future they, and a, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I think the, that's what you don't wrong, leave though. future and get Russell Women Wilson. Like, it's, a, it's a type. Listen, Women bro, everybody got a type. Yeah, that's true. Everybody has a type. You gonna leave future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you he's have, so goddamn square, and I love him on the field. He's this. a square. Chandy, he's a king square. Channing, you go from this level of toxicity. You just want something stable. You want the guy that was sitting with that girl with that big old mouth at the draft that was laughing, and you knew she deserved to be with him. Goofball? Yeah, you want that you guy. You want to get with you, goofballs, no, You want the guy that told me, you know what? I was I was praying, and God told me to go save her. That's what the man told me to my face. But even with all... But, uh, all right, cool. Go on here, react. What you got for me? What you got for me? I you do this not in? understand this narrative. All right, it's, give it, it to me. It's... Frustrating. Okay, you worked up. I like this. What's up? Because why? What? I don't understand. What is wrong with Russell Wilson? I don't get it. What you mean? What's what's wrong? There's Russell... so many people that say he's a square. He's corny. He oh, okay, sick. okay, 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 okay. You standing up for him? I thought you said something wrong, Russell. I was like, damn, this is not going. No, 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 no. I'm standing up for him. I don't. Everybody, he a simp. He a square. He corny. Like I don't. Why is he corny? Because he's a man that. Got with a woman, fell in love with her, took in her child because the baby's father wasn't doing his job, and now he's a simp because he chose to be a stepdad? I don't understand that. There are so many stepdads in the world. What is wrong with a man being a stepdad? I don't understand. I have a stepdad. My stepdad, took, a stepdad, my stepdad took me in like I was his child. I don't talk to him no more, but that's 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 because he be doing his thing. But yeah, I, I got a stepdad too. And me and him was way closer to me and my biological father. Hey, same. My, me and my stepdad, I think, I mean, he came in my life when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. So we wasn't, you know, that close. But Nah, bro came when I was a shorty. And me and him are definitely close, closer to me. Damn, that sounds like, okay. Me and him are way closer <laughs> than me and my bi biological yeah, father. Yeah, and sure. so like me, yeah, me and my stepdad, if anything, you know, I would probably call him a stepdad before I call him a real dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I don't understand that. I, I got don't. an answer for you. I, I know okay, what's your I know answer? I know why this occurs. Okay, why? What what's I know your exactly why this occurs. Hold on, let me look into the camera. I know exactly <laughs> why this occurs. Why this I got okay. the answer. Okay, give me the answer. Boom, let's check this out. Have you ever seen that meme or that dude that has the money, he's walking no, he's the nerd. He's walking down the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. He's trying to talk to the girl and the girl's like, Ew, I don't like you. And then she comes back and she has like a kid. She's fat and she's like trying to talk to him. He's like, I'm successful now. You can't have me now. Do you, you know what I mean? I think I've seen it First before. First off, on a corny scale, that, that meme is 10 out of 10. All right? <laughs> it's goaded because anybody knows that meme. All right. Mm -hmm. The problem that men have with Russell Wilson, and, mm -hmm. I'm, and I don't agree with this logic. Okay. Uh, but the problem that men have with Russell Wilson and Sierra's situation is that it confirms their bias that good guys finish last. They don't like mm. the fact that they feel like Sierra is undeserving. So these guys, when they trash Russell Wilson mm -hmm. and say he's a cornball and stuff like that, they don't do it. It, it sounds like they're attacking Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. right? Because it's, it's backhanded, right? It's, it's disrespectful to him. Mm -hmm. What they're attempting to say, these are athletes, right? These are a room full of athletes, so you're getting barbershop talk. Yeah. This is why I'm not offended. Like, everybody on Twitter is, like, triggered or whatever. I'm not triggered. I don't, I don't care that much. Okay. But the reason why they're talking like this, it's not them attacking Russell Wilson necessarily. Okay. They're attacking Sierra because they feel like Sierra doesn't necessarily deserve Russell Wilson. They feel like that she doesn't necessarily even, Russell Wilson isn't even necessarily her type. When you look at Sierra's history, right, what, what, what do we see when we look at Sierra's history? We see her sort of dating the bad boys. She dated only I don't follow her enough to care enough, yeah. but I know the two people that I know for a fact that she was dating was Bow Wow. Future Bow Wow. Bow Wow was somebody that never committed to a woman. He was always having sex with everybody partying. He was Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. He was this the bad boy, I guess. I mean, to an extent, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, dude wanna be a thug so bad he has been running around talking. I'm just I was signed to death row, which is true. But I was signed to death row to make himself seem a little tougher. He, he was the bad boy. Mm -hmm. and then she got with future, the dude who has all these baby mamas, he's not a good choice. She made terrible. Now this this part is my opinion. Mm -hmm. She made terrible. Dating mm -hmm. choices. Terrible. 
Okay. She dated the worst of the worst. And now, now we're back to the men's opinion, not necessarily mine. And she got her fairy tale ending, and people don't feel like she deserves that fairy tale ending. But why? Because, because she's made bad. Who has not made bad choices? I, I agree with you that people have made bad choices, but this is what it is. Dudes don't want to see women like that win because dudes won't win. First, a lot of dudes, dudes have this obsession right now with holding women accountable. It's mm -hmm. it's like. Okay, this is the thing. I would love for women to hold themselves accountable. Mm -hmm. I think collectively, women don't hold themselves accountable. They don't hold each other accountable. I think women duck and dodge accountability like Ultra Instinct Goku. Right? Yeah, I think that's just my opinion. I right. think collectively, women don't deal with accountability. Okay. I think there's a problem with it with men to an extent, but I think it is so worse for women. Okay. Um, I, I think men have this obsession with wanting to see women be held accountable. Okay. Now, I would I would like for women to be held accountable, mm -hmm. but I don't care. Okay. But other dudes have this obsession where they're like, nah, nah, you 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 dated, you've had a baby by this dude that's trash, you was baby mama number five. Like, yo, you made terrible decisions. You should be cursed to be a single bitter, you know, baby mother. You should be a statistic for the rest of your time. But then the crazy thing about that is it's, it's hypocritical. It's very because hypocritical. they say that like, oh, you don't deserve a good guy. You don't deserve it. But then if you keep dating the same type of guy, you keep making those decisions. You keep dating all these men. That's bad for you. Now they're like, well, that's your fault. You keep dating all these men. You got a type. So it's like, I, so if I, I do better that. for I, myself. I, no, no, I do agree with that line of thinking. I think if you end up with trash man after trash man, you have a type. I mean, that's but that's I understand that. But what I'm saying is. So I'm not allowed to date outside of my time. If I if I if I if I okay, recognize okay, that's what you're I if I recognize that I'm dating the same type of person that's not getting me anywhere, maybe I need to step outside of my comfort zone. And I, I want to make it clear. I want to keep reiterating. I don't care, but I mean, I, I, I'm yeah, explaining know, but the line of thinking. Yeah. I'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of the guys that have a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem, mm -hmm. but the guys that do have a problem, I think it's an obsession with wanting women to be held accountable. They don't think that those women deserve their fairy tale ending. But, and, but, and, but maybe she's just one of the people that learned her lesson early on. Like, I mean, she got with him, had a baby by him. This man cheated on her multiple times. Yeah. Why, why would I want to continue that type of um, relationship? Why would I want to continue to go down this road and date yeah, the same and, type and of person? And she, that wise, makes no she did wise up and she snatched a really kind guy. She snatched her NFL player up. Who has this nasty contract? Super Bowl winner. The dude mm -hmm. is very successful. Richest ever. Yeah, super rich. Made far more money than she probably will ever make in music ever again in her life. Mm -hmm. Sierra ain't selling a damn. Out. Sierra ain't going styrofoam if she drop an album right now, right? <laughs> that, that's just be honest. She could drop the TikTok songs, the level ups, and get the kids dancing, but she will never sell albums on a successful level ever again. Mm -hmm. So dudes see that and they like, yeah, she messed up. She gonna have to live with that, and she got lucky and. and I, I do. I have seen instances where guys say, hey, it's a bad example for young women because uh, uh, they'll think that it's OK, right, to do this because you can make mistakes and have babies and get your Russell Wilson. My thing is, I don't give a damn. <laughs> All right. If you if you're in denial to think that you can go around and have babies by multiple men and get your Russell Wilson at the end of the the, the, the journey, more power to you. Right. I don't care enough to want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's hypocritical because now I'm going to get on men, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I do be sounding like I be bashing women sometimes, but I like to keep it fair. Right. I'm going to keep it a buck. Right. I think that men are such hypocrites with this line of thinking because men do not keep that same energy when it comes to men. No. So don't. when it comes to men having thousands of children, no one bats an eye or cares. Yeah. Now, we will agree as men, we will agree like, damn, bro, this dude got nine kids. He is trash, mm -hmm. but we won't we won't crucify him the way that people crucify Sierra and Russell Wilson. Yeah, like this is a viral a, clip. Go if, ahead. If a man has nine kids, instead of them saying, "Hey, dude, you need to chill out," they telling the woman, "Oh, you knew he had all these kids. Why are you dating him? And you knew he had all these kids." I think both are true. I think both should be addressed. Yeah, it should I, be. I, I but think you the can't woman, make the, you can't put the blame solely on the woman. It's the man's woman, responsibility yep. too. I do think that. I do, I do think as a man, you got eight baby mamas, seven baby mamas, nine baby You're tripping. Yeah. You are a problem, bro. You're out here creating, creating single mothers. Yep. That is a problem. Exactly. But I also feel like as a woman, you shouldn't line up to be baby mama four five. I think that there is room for growth on both sides. Mm -hmm. And I think that both sides are pointing the finger at each other. And it, it's, it's ridiculous because like I, I watch I watch. Uh, OK, I'm not trying to attack Kevin Samuels. You mentioned his name. 
people get so angry and worked up. I'm not attacking Kevin Samuels. Okay. But I feel like a lot of his talking points when he talk about these single mothers and how they hold no value and blah, 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 and all this stuff. I think that he should talk to men, too, about creating these single black mothers because you are poking at the symptom. You are not pointing at the root cause. Exactly. And the thing is, there are instances where women are just intolerable. Yo, F that, we got kids together. I can't be with you. You are miserable. You are bitter. You are making my life a living hell. I got to run. Yeah. You have those instances, but that ain't the instance every time. No, it's not. A lot of these dudes can't keep it in their pants. They're wilding out. They're creating single black mothers, and they're not being held accountable. Yeah. And it's, it's so nasty, in my opinion, that when we sit here and attack women online all day about this, but we don't talk about the men that's out here creating. Look at Nick Cannon. People mm -hmm. are laughing about Nick Cannon and what he's doing to all these women that oh have all God, these children. Yes. And what he's doing is disgusting. Yeah. It shouldn't be a meme to laugh at. He should be getting crucified just like Sierra for what she's doing. Nick Cannon should be getting crucified. I don't care that he can afford to take care of all those babies. What he can't do, he doesn't have enough time in the day to take care of eight to nine babies by multiple women. Yeah. Well, however many kids he got, he probably got four, five babies on the way. I may be a little, being a little over dramatic, but you're not. No, it sounds you you probably about right because you got to think about it. he already has his kids with Mariah. Then he they got have like, another, like they have, but like I ain't three even counting together. them because they older. I'm talking about new. I boys. mean, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like he already has those three. I think it's three of them. Is it the three or four? And then he just made like four, five just kids. Made like four or five more. So yeah. the, the, boy, the man is borderline ten kids. Yeah. So the thing is, what what are you are creating single mothers, right? Yeah. You can throw money at them all you want, but are you going to be there to change diapers at night? No. Are you going to be there when the baby is crying in the middle of the night? No. Are you going to be sitting there and bonding with this child during the most pivotal times of their lives? All of them equally. Yeah. No, yeah. you're not. Especially so we, if you're, because he's still like doing shows and, you know, doing his thing. So I'm pretty sure he's on the road a lot. But even, even, even with him doing shows, right? He could have did his shows and then go be gone for a couple weeks and then come home. To the baby if it was one baby mother yeah now he has to go go home go do shows on the road come back a couple weeks baby won't get a chance to see me go home do go on the road do a couple shows and then come home baby two can see me yeah. you know unless the baby mamas are fine with coming together but they're not gonna live together they no, don't want to live i don't think they want to live in the same house together, together no. so it's like will I, I mean i mean not will i said will <laughs> why do i keep doing that but uh He's but nick, your brain <laughs> but but nick cannon like bro what are you doing i think that we talk about the the symptom and we don't talk about the root cause yep. i think in most cases f single fathers are creating that yeah yeah like like bro like yo we talk about women we tell women yo stop getting pregnant by these trash men and i agree with that mm -hmm. but also brother put a condom on exactly there are two forms of birth well there's a third form of birth control now that they're trying to push on us which i'll never take that oh but the man birth the control, man birth control yeah. i'm not doing that stop that <laughs> damn that's another video we got to react to <laughs> That would probably be quick because that's gonna be funny. Sale. That's probably gonna like seven minutes. We probably do that. Okay. But um, but yeah, it's so Illuminati. Uh, he said something about it. Oh my gosh. It. But uh, <laughs> but my my thing is like um, bro, the men could wear condoms too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People say, well, condoms break. Bro, pull out. Yep. Bro, I mean, I hate to get graphic, but when we were younger, doing our thing or whatever, protected or whatever, even though I was using a condom, I was pulling out. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like, oh, I got a condom on. I'm gonna go ahead and. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I still was pulling out, and then why you do? Why you doing your business as a man? You know, unless you walking around like this as a man, you see what you got going on. Like you pulling back if you going to if you going to work, you pulling back. You looking, you seeing what you got. Yeah. Because usually if a kind of snap, it'll roll down. You stroke and do your thing, it'll either come off or it'll roll down, and you'll see just the ring around the base and the plastic gone or yeah. the rubber gone. Yeah. So you, it's like when dudes say, "Yo, I, I ain't know, bro. It's an accident, blah blah." It's like it's BS. Let's start holding men and women accountable equal. That's all yeah. I want, e equal. So when people start bashing Sierra about what she's going through and stuff like that, I, I get it, right? I get dudes seeing that saying, damn, the nice guy did finish last because he's a rich dude. He could have went and got him. He could have started from scratch with his own family. Yeah. But at the same time, that's his choice. That's his I choice. I don't care. He yep. wants to be with them. He appears to be happy. They've had multiple children. I don't care. But also, if you have this problem with him, have this problem with Future. Exactly. Future is way exactly. worse of a person than Sierra is. Exactly. And we're talking about the scale of messed up and who don't deserve a happy ending. Future versus Sierra. Bro, Future is on my, my, my list, bro. This dude has, has destroyed an entire generation of young men by tricking them into thinking that he's, he's a, a high-functioning lean addict. 
This dude don't do lean and, and do all these type of drugs that he raps about. But now your children are out here doing this. Everybody named mama addicted to lean. And you can say lean existed before future. But it was a southern thing. Right. Yeah, Pimp C and them used to talk about it or whatever. But it was a southern thing. Right. And then once future was one of the few Atlanta. He was one of the first down south artists that sort of broke the barrier down where it wasn't like New York people was playing New York artists. Mm -hmm. Atlanta was playing Atlanta artists. He broke through the mold and was everywhere. Yeah. And he told your kids it was okay to do drugs, and he got everybody over here popping pills on Molly and, and, and sipping lean. And you want to sit here and crucify Sierra as if Future ain't even worse trash. Right? Don't nobody care about Future. People champion Future, and he's trash. He's a trash human being. I don't get it, man. I'm just like, and I see all of this stuff because I was. This has been going on for years now. Yeah, and that's and why you tired. I'm like, bro, we still talking about Russell Wilson and Sierra. Yeah, and I'm just like, I had like, and this, this is, and this goes kind of into the Kevin Samuels thing too, is because according to Kevin Samuels, you know, Sierra's like on the on the the lowest part of the totem pole to get a good to get a man like him because you know, oh, because according to him, rules. she's a single mother and all of the stuff it diminishes her um uh her S worth, her sexual marketplace value. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop because they're going to kill you know, us. It, it, it diminishes her worth. And according to him, she don't deserve a, a man like that. But it's just like, the, and this is the interest is where I say, like, you know, if that's what he wants, if that's who he fell in love with, that's his business. Bro. That's, and, and it does happen. Bro, nobody's, nobody's mad. Okay. Women are mad. And I think that some people are mad. But I think the average dude ain't mad that Nicki Minaj's boyfriend was accused of rape. He was he was accused of rape and he got yeah, out of yeah, prison. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, he got out of prison mm -hmm. and he he got his happy ending. He went to jail for holding a knife to a woman's neck and 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 assaulting her supposedly, right? Allegedly, mm -hmm. and he got out of jail and got his happy ending immediately. He yeah. got him a woman who is arguably the biggest female rapper in the game that we've seen in the last two decades. Mm -hmm. He has the biggest rapper. Why why aren't people mad? You don't deserve her. How did you get your happy ending? She could have got her a better man. She could have got her a high value man. She could have got her, you know, somebody like Drake or could have got her somebody else that was like super successful. She's beautiful. She's this. She's that. Yep. What, what? Why aren't people criticizing him? I mean, I get that he's not famous, right? Sierra and Russell Wilson are famous, right. but Nicki Minaj is is, is super famous. She's yeah. a superstar. The only thing they are criticizing her for is the fact that. She's dating the man that was in prison. For yeah, it. I mean, they crack jokes on it, right? They, yeah. they, they was. I seen jokes like, "Damn, Nicki Minaj can't live next to schools no more." Damn, Nicki Minaj <laughs> wow. got a blah blah like all this stuff. I see jokes about it, but people don't be sitting down having TED talks about Nicki Minaj. I mean, don't get me wrong, her fans are super annoying, so a lot of people avoid yeah. talking about Nicki Minaj anyways because the barbs are like, <sighs> they're like the worst fan base I've ever seen on the face of the planet. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that we keep that same energy collectively as men we don't really address the root no. cause of it all with irresponsible men creating single mothers i i get yep. it sometimes the women are hard to deal with and sometimes you may have to run bro but at the end of the day you still need to take care of your kids yep. you still i think that you should attempt to marry a woman before you uh before you start busting i don't want to hear you know she got pregnant and i wasn't ready for the kid and she kept it that's on her that's weak that's weak. I, I I actually want to talk about that real quick. I want to say this okay. before we get out of here. When I hear dudes say she kept the baby so she knew what it was, I mm -hmm. see that online all the time. Oh, she kept yeah. the baby so she knew what it was. I think a woman keeping a child is her accepting responsibilities for her actions. That's you attempting her to tell that. her and force her to get rid of it, that's you not doing that. You can you do not get to criticize a woman for keeping a child that you wanted to get rid of and, and saying that she kept it and making it seem like that's a her problem. She knew what it was when she was messing with me. She knew what it was. She knew that she could get pregnant and mess with me. You knew that too. Oh. You knew that she can get pregnant. So I don't want to hear that, uh, 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 that, that, that BS, that narrative, that narrative pisses me off too, to I no agree. end. I, agree. I hate that narrative. Like her, her keeping the baby was her being responsible. Yep. She had the sex. She dealt with it. Instead of, you know, terminating the pregnancy, she's going to raise that child and deal with that for the next 18 years. Yep. You need to be a man and step up. Yeah. And you then and, and instead of people saying that, you have people 
even even women, which is even the saddest part, is mostly women that I see that's telling the man like, well, if you told her you didn't want the baby, then that's her fault. That's her problem. I have seen women like, saying that too. That's, that makes, that's actually that's, crazy. That that's no one of the sense. few things I see women say that's like in our favor. Yeah. That I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you agreeing with men on this? This doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, it's like it doesn't make sense. Like, no. At the end of the day, we might need new YouTube, Facebook friends. Huh? We might need new Facebook friends. We probably do need. We new need new Facebook friends. friends. We got all the people from home back in Chicago, <laughs> and it's like we have these these such distorted uh, views of like how women are in this current climate. Yeah, and it might just be what we're from, to be honest, because it's mean, so jacked up. Maybe I don't know. I have friends all over though. Okay, so yeah. it's just like because you know we moved around a lot, so yeah. you know I make friends everywhere we go. So I have friends with all kind of different backgrounds, different opinions, all kind of stuff like that. But it makes absolutely no sense to me because I'm just like, you have two people that laid down and made this decision together. Yep. Now you have a product of that decision. It's not the woman's fault. Bro, you not know alone. what makes babies. As a grown man, you know how babies are made. At least I hope you do. Yo, <laughs> no penis. I mean, I said no penis. No condom on the penis. Mm -hmm. Going into a vagina with a woman is not on birth control. Dog, what 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 are you doing? One plus one equals two. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, sometimes us fellas, we think we can be the king of the pull-out method. <laughs> I think personally I'm undefeated. Oh, really? I think I'm undefeated. Mm. I think I'm the GOAT when it comes that to that. So? But at the same Is time... Is that how I was made? We made on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she was playing. She was in an accident. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, that... That means I'm still undefeated. No. I didn't pull out on purpose. No. I can't believe we're talking about this right now. <laughs> but but I, I but a dudes would think that and it's like, yeah, you can be the pull out king and, and your your pre cum may not get young ladies pregnant or whatever. Mm -hmm. But let the, the the facts behind it says that it is a possibility. It's a possibility. Even if you pull out, it's a possibility she can get pregnant. Yes. They said they even if you go to a doctor and they say, you know, if if for when when a woman goes to a doctor they ask her if she's on birth control, or if she say, you know, yes or no, whatever. And they'll give you a list of birth controls and the effective rates of those yes. birth controls. The one that's like usually at the bottom is the pull-out method. And they say it's the late, least effective. Bro. <laughs> because it, condoms is ninety nine percent effective. Birth control is ninety nine percent effective. Your ass not gonna tell them use the one percent for both of them. I ain't believing it. Stop yeah, no. it. Stop it. No, because Take even kids, yeah, bro. condoms and in, in in um certain forms of birth control not even ninety nine percent. Condoms are not ninety nine percent effective. I thought they were ninety nine percent. They're like ninety five. What? No, we gotta research this. Look it up. They're I ain't like, looking up right now on the pod. I think we're gonna we're gonna agree to disagree on them. I feel like ninety five percent is crazy. I'm low. pretty sure they're not ninety nine percent effective. Nah, actually, you know, we might have to look this up on the pod. We might have to. I'm sorry. Look it up. I'm uh, telling let me you, ask Google. Is, Hold on, my phone dead. It is not ninety nine percent. Can you ask Siri? My phone dead. Ask Siri. Hey Siri, what's the effective rate of condoms? What is the effective rate of condoms? Ninety five percent is crazy. Ninety eight percent. Ninety eight. There we go. All right, cool. That's that's better. Ninety five. Ninety five is crazy. Then that oh, might change yeah. my entire argument. You got 5% chance of getting pregnant with a condom. <laughs> that changes my whole perception. I was like, okay, hold on. Nah, that, that man, I got to walk back my entire stance on this in life. <laughs> okay, but well, 98% yeah. excuse I, I my think I was, Oh, but, 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 but back to Sierra and Russell, we got sidetracked. Yeah, we did. Uh, Sierra and Russell, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at them. Other brothers, man, lead them on. I'm not mad at this video, though. I'm not going to crucify people saying this dude's career is over. They hate him and all this stuff. Look. This is barbershop talk. If you look at that's what podcasts are essentially. Mm -hmm. It's people sitting down, shooting shits, and I mean, and hopefully making great content, having have a conversation to entertain people. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be mad at these brothers for that. Do I agree with them? No. But I think that what people need to learn to do is to respectfully disagree. Yeah. Stop hating people because y'all don't have the same beliefs or oh, views. Yes, yes. His stance ain't going. His stance ain't doing nothing to Sierra. No. His stance ain't doing nothing to Russell Wilson. So at the end of the day, why people are so angry about this, I don't care. But I respect his position. Mm -hmm. I just respectfully disagree. Is that that's it? Yeah, I, and it's, and that's fine. I just, for me personally, it just it bothers me because I'm just like, as a woman, yeah, you know, y'all keep telling us we need to take responsibility and you know stop chasing the same type of guys and everything is about the woman making all these bad decisions. But then when you finally when you have one who's learned her lesson yeah. and got a good man, you can't be redeemable. Now it's a That's not with part that. of the game. You are talking about being redeemable. That's not part of the game. You come man. up, you date, you don't get pregnant while you date, do your thing, have fun, but don't you get pregnant. 
And if you get pregnant, it better be by a man that you marry and love, right? That's that's the way to get it. Well, I mean, she had, the thing about that situation was it's not like she knew Future was going to cheat her. Now, I mean, Yes, she did. No, I'm not letting you get that off. I'm not letting you get that off. <laughs> Hell no. I walk that back. I mean, yes, Future has a bad track, no. track record. But you, I mean, you just never know. Sometimes no, people change. No, I'm not letting you do that. No, no? I'm not okay. letting you do that. Okay. That's, that's a woman. You don't have that to is a woman it. thing. No, I'm telling you I'm as a saying. man. I'm telling you as a man. If the duo has four baby mamas, ain't shit you doing is baby mama number five is different than the other four. If the first four ain't figuring them out, I guarantee you it's number five. You won't. I guarantee yeah. you. That, that's how it goes. There is no if, ands, or buts. There will never be a woman. You know when Future's finally going to settle down? What? When he broke his hell and he needs somebody to take <laughs> care of him. Until then, Future will always be Future. If you are, there is nothing baby mama number three or four can figure out that baby mama one and two couldn't. After two, you're done figuring it out. He is who he is. Okay. That's how it works. I ain't letting you get that off. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I mean. Nope. I'm just saying. Nope. That's coming from saying. a man perspective. I, I, nope. I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, anyways, regardless of the situation, she did that happen. She got with him. She had a baby by him. She learned a lesson. She found someone who was willing to be a stepdad to yep. her child. And I don't understand. Like, And then people are calling him a simp for that. Yep. I don't. So, are you our our guy? Is the mentality now that all men that decide to take care of another woman's child is a simp? Is that the mentality now? Because that's what it seems like. Simp it is, seems like every time okay, there's I was, a step I was going to try to get out of here because this was this was getting long. But I kind of <laughs> I kind of like where you going with this. I kind of want to say something about this before we get out of here. Okay. We got to We got to end on this one though. We okay, we have okay, to end. It's got to be the last transition before <laughs> okay. we get out of here. Uh, simp is overused. Okay. All right. All I right. Simp, simp is the new transphobic. Right. Okay. Or, or like anything phobic anything with phobic attached to it mm -hmm. it holds no weight anymore because people have abused it just like the word racist all these words that ha have had significant meaning mm -hmm. um, and ha and are, are really serious mm -hmm. uh, 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 things they have lost their meaning simp is the exact same way it falls right in that category okay. simp used to mean that you would go out of your way to act like a like like let's say if you didn't want me right let's say if you friends on me when you first met me and I was just like Oh my gosh! Let me let me let me take you out. I just want to show you that you're 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 a beautiful woman. I just want to show you how what it feels like to be loved. And you're like, okay, cool. I appreciate that, but you're still just my friend. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't need to be your man. I just want you to. You're a queen. I want to show you how you you need to be valued. No, nah, don't you? Not. I would not. Dare. That don't even sound right coming out of my mouth. But but you got you got you know what I'm saying dudes would do stuff like that. That is simping. Okay, doing something with with hopes of it being something. And it never will be anything. Yeah. Going overboard when you know for a fact you don't Urkel, have a chance. Steve Urkel. He was a simp. I mean, he eventually got, say, he got, the, he got the girl, though. Eventually. eventually, right? He eventually got the girl. I think she dealt with like heartbreak and all type of other stuff where he finally, finally got her. But Steve Urkel was the perfect example of what a simp looks like. We watched him do that for years mm -hmm. when he was trying to get lower before he finally got her or whatever. Mm -hmm. Steve Urkel was simp. That's a simp. Mm -hmm. But now, right, in the current climate, the way that people are using it in this, this incel era, that we're enduring, um, simply just doing anything nice for a woman. <laughs> if, if 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 you ain't out here talking about you know FBs and get money, if that ain't your mindset, you simply essentially. <laughs> Somebody called me a simp. I, I'm I'm recognized by by the Fresh and Fit fans. Anytime I've ever commented on a Fresh and Fit like react, like I don't comment on their videos for the mm -hmm. most part. Mm -hmm. I have commented on Fresh's video once. But like anytime I comment at anything regarding them, somebody go, "Hey, that's that simp dude." That's what, that's what they do. They, they call me the simp dude. Now that's funny. That's funny, right? But that's that's what they. So, oh, damn, I just messed my microphone up. I'm listening though. They've right. called they've called you a simp because of like the comments that you've made about their videos. Yeah, oh, yes, because I I try to keep it fair across the board. They mm -hmm. call me that simp dude, okay. right? Because I don't I don't hate women. And I think that we should address things in a fair light. Okay. Not in favor of women, just in a fair life for men and women. Gotcha. And they they consider me a simp for that. They they hate me, but I like that you brought up simp because I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because it's it's misused. It's not used properly whatsoever. Okay. There are simps that exist, but the way yeah, it is I mean, used, I'm, I'm sure that power. there are. But that's why it, it it always bothered me because I'm like I don't see how Russell Wilson is a simp. Like because if that's the case, then any man that has ever taken care of a woman that's had a child prior to their relationship is a simp. Yeah. So yeah. it makes no sense. Yeah. You know the greatest simp of all time, though? Who? Uh, Derek Jackson. Greatest oh, simp. yeah. Greatest simp of all time because he was faking. He didn't Derek. even really believe the shit he was. He was, he was, he was a, a simp imposter. 
Alright, that's what makes them go to <laughs> Simp imposter. I've never seen that like that in what my life. What the heck is that? Like, yo, when you tell a woman to leave him if he cheats outside of the girl's house that you're cheating with, and when caught, <laughs> you have your wife hold your hand and y'all do a video about how y'all gonna stay together and she needs to take care of you despite your words saying that she should leave. Oh, bro, he the goat. He the goat. I'm sorry, he the goat. And this, yeah, Michael and George, I, that is goat. I still don't understand how he how he has a, a following. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't, don't want to transition to that. I don't want us to get into that. Okay. I just want to mention that he's the goat. <laughs> I don't. I but but we gonna get out of here. What, do you have an outro for the people? Once again, no. You don't have outro for the people. No. All right, <laughs> you made it to this video. Thank you for your time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, so you can support Shonda. Uh, and we are out. <laughs>